<sighs> fast food. Something that almost every American knows. Fast food is one of the cornerstones of American life. Food so easily accessible that you can literally just drive straight up, drive in a line, ask for what you want, get it, and you're on your way. The convenience is unbelievable. However... Don't that, screw up your order. Mm, yeah, then there's <laughs> that. Also, not only that, but also um, the health standards of food have, especially fast food, have just gone down a hill over the last 20 plus years. Because I can attest to this, McDonald's from back in the day tasted a hell of a lot better than it does today. Well, actually, health-wise, it was worse for you back then because the reason that the fries were so much better back then was because they fried them in straight-up lard. And there's a problem with that? It's just a lot of fat. Like, Yeah, and honestly, people are fatter nowadays than they've ever been. That's because it's been around for a while for everybody to keep eating. Well, not only that, but also oil is much worse to fry stuff in. The only oil is I it? really... Oh, yeah. Like grapeseed oil? Or, or grapeseed oil? It's terrible for you, but yet people use it all the time. The only oils that have been proven to be was, like... The whole thing back then was like they quit doing that because it came out that that's how they were making the fries taste so good and like... Everybody was like, dude, that's like a massive health risk. You can't do that. Like, Well, that's the thing as well. They used to say MSG caused cancer. Then they found out, oh, we misspoke. So why didn't they go back to making the fries that way? Well, it's because it's cheaper. Mm. It's cheaper to fry it in oil than it is to fry it in lard. Lard is a lot harder to... That explains it. Lard is a lot harder to, you know, uh, transport. It's a lot harder to contain and it's a lot harder to store whereas oil you know it's a liquid whereas lard is more of a solid until you melt it down and here's my thing about it i've like i will say this the like when you look at everything like the polysorbate and this preservatives that are in a lot of food nowadays it's actually kind of scary like how much of this shit people are eating and it's it's not good. And I try very hard to stay away from fast food. I I cook a lot here at home. You know, I, I, I try to cook as, as much at home as I can. Not only does it save money, but it also, you know, just it's a lot healthier for me. And me losing weight has... It's been a big contributing factor to me losing weight. I'm already down like 47 pounds, so I'm happy about that. But Preston is here to tell us about... Eating a hundred years of fast food, so I guarantee he's going to start entirely. So impossible. Well, you'd be surprised. Like I think he's going to go with like carny food, because carny food has been around for like 150 years, and I think he's basically going to be like, oh yeah, this is how they used to do burgers back in the day. This is how they used to do this back in the day, and basically he's just going to go through the motions and tell us everything that we need to know about the different things. So. Honestly, I'm interested to see what he's going to come up with. And, uh, yeah, uh, I guess uh, we're going to see Preston eating 100 years of fast food. This was recommended on our Discord. This has been recommended a lot on our Discord. So, uh, actually, hold on. Let me let me check on who exactly it was that recommended this, because it's not too far up the, up the line here. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I say that, and I keep scrolling. Oh, there it is. This is by, damn it, it just says, oh, <laughs> yeah, so apparently they don't want us to see their name, but, oh, thank you, thank you very much. So, uh, here we go, let's go ahead and get this back up on screen, and let's check out Preston eating 100 years of fast food. Here we go. We're eating a hundred years of fast food, starting with the drive-in from the 1930s. Look at these trays. This is how you would get your food at the drive-in. Oh yeah, the car hops. Tray on your windshield and just put it right here. Oh no way! Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh you oh. get the milkshake. Let's go. As a malt milk milkshake. What do you got? Chili cheese dog. Oh. No, please tell me it's a burger. <gasps> it's a yeah, burger. 
Dude, that is amazing. That's really good. This chili cheese dog was only 10 cents. You know how much your burger was? Uh, the burger was 25 cents. All right, what else we got here? Damn. Vintage onion rings. And I got a little bit of fries. <laughs> and guess what? The French fries were free. It says the French fries were included. Okay, we got to try your milkshake, please. But I do want to try my root beer. Does it feel I, like I, I need to know where this place is. I need to know, too, for reasons. Sense, because that's how much I cost. Why did you? <laughs> so this was the first decade of the fast foods. Yeah, the 1930s had delicious fast food, but how does it compare to the 1940s? Ooh. We'll be traveling through okay. time. From now, when they time. say, okay, now I'm thinking about it. Is now when they say, yeah, the burger was 25 cents. Do they mean the burger was 25 cents just now, or do they mean the burger was, was 20, 25 cents? Was like right I think was 25 cents. Yeah. I think that might be what that context actually was, because I have a hard time believing you could get a burger anywhere for a quarter still in this present fucking economy. Well, once again, inflation, dude. Inflation murdered like a lot of like the pricing with this. I went stuff. to McDonald's the other day and a fucking fillet of fish sandwich is like seven dollars. What? Yeah. It used to be like fucking three dollars. I haven't been to McDonald's in so long, dude. Do they still have stuff that's like like? Like, um, you know, like, I don't know, like, it was, like, two nineteen for, like, a McDouble? Dude, McDonald's, uh, like, McDouble's, when I first got them, were literally on a dollar. Menu. No, me like, too. Me too, minutes. but the last time I was there, it was, like, two nineteen. Yeah, no, like, what? everything's, like, $3 menu now. What like, the? F are you serious? Yeah, like, the cheapest shit's, like, $3. That, oh, my God, dude. <sighs> like, at the very least, I got a deal, because I got the... Um, filet of fish sandwich with a medium order of fries and they only added on like a dollar for the fries so. yeah like that wasn't too bad at least with both of those mm. like but if it had it just been the sandwich for seven dollars it's kind of fucked up because that's not a very big sandwich that is that's kind of messed good up it's a sandwich but it's not very big dude I could dude for the stuff that I buy I could make a good smash burger for somebody Double stack, double stack, double cheese with bacon. I could probably make it for like, for like, four bucks. I mean, and, I'm pretty sure. And it's and it's and it's like this tall and like this big around, and it's delicious. I'm pretty sure I can get like a bag of fish patties, like fried fish patties. Yeah. Craft singles, some tartar sauce, and some buns, and make like a whole lot of those fillet of fish sandwiches. And they'd probably be far less than seven dollars a piece. Well, either way, let's get back to this. Lots have taken over a McDonald's all the way to when the drive-thru was first introduced. So we can find out which decade had the best tasting fast food. Now we're in the 1940s. We need to see if they're getting better at fast food in the newer. Wow, day. look this at is the original okay. menu from McDonald's. Okay, look at this. The uh, like the old McDonald's stuff. Like, I know those aren't actual bags for McDonald's. It's just, like, like empty bags with, like, the old McDonald's sticker on it. Uh, that's that's Speedy. That's their old mascot. Basically, t like, time and, like, was the name of the game with them. Like, from order to, like, you receiving your food was, like, 30 seconds. That was a big thing back then because no one had ever seen anything like that because of how efficient... And how fast it was. But yeah. For Mickey D's? And this is before they had the clown. What was this guy? Is he a hamburger? Speedy. Oh, he's always oh, a hamburger. McDonald's set the standard for fast food as each meal would consist of a main entree, a side, and a drink. Even other rival fast food chains yeah, started. Is that way the back of the day prices they're talking about? Is okay. the dwarf Obviously. grill. Any guesses on what this evolved into? Like it looks like Chick-fil-A. You're right. This is the original Chick-fil-A called the dwarf grill. Hey, I need to know what the food tasted like. Let's do drinks first. So I know this is buttermilk. This is what they usually used to make red. I don't think you're supposed no. to just drink it. No. <laughs> no. Why no. are you drinking buttermilk? Did they actually serve buttermilk to just be drank from a glass back then? Like, that's Why? Gross. No. What, what do you what do you have? Orange flavored drink is all they called it. That is so bad. I'm so sorry. That's terrible. I don't okay, see so buttermilk on that menu head. anywhere. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Bigger than this burger. <laughs> Imagine the desert in your mouth. That's what it tastes like. It is. If if Dick and Mac McDonald were here right now, and they said, uh, I imagine it as as you know Nick Offerman, 
you know, a.k.a. Ron Swanson, is like, that is not our hamburger. You want a hamburger? I'll cook you one right now. <laughs> and basically him and him and Mac would basically just, like, do the whole thing there. And, yeah. They were the perfectionists. Oh, now I know what the orange-flavored drink was made what for. What do you do? No. no. Stop. Dude, I need it to be wet. Hmm? It's actually so much better with the orange-flavored drink. Why do you just want to dip yours in buttermilk? <laughs> Uh, they kind of missed that opportunity. <laughs> Ew. It's still bad. Please, please. It's again. Bad. Yes, again. We have the 1930s. Hey, 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 hey. I can make that sound. Or actually, it's not on here. Damn it. I can make the yeast sound too. In the 1940s, too, but which eventually. fast food is better? They had the chili dog glizzy. Ah, dude, I gotta say 1930s. 30s. Now that's the 40s. <laughs> and what's after the 40s again? We have pizza in the 50s. And Sonic also in the 50s. Wow, this is apparently Sonic? a peasant food. What? Nobody in America knew what pizza was in the 50s, and now it's all the rage. Dude, I wouldn't guess Pizza Hut invented it. Also, isn't this the Little Caesars guy? And why has he got a mustache? You need this for a dollar. 95 cents for a slice. It's also not a slice. It's a small pizza. Yeah. It's a whole pizza for 95 cents? Damn. We need to go back. We need to go back. Yeah, unfortunately. M minus like, the racism, uh, of course. Yeah, like, that's what the things cost, but imagine what your paycheck probably looked like. Well, $100 they, a month. But at the same time, you know, you're working a job that, well, I'm not going to say that's, like, more fulfilling, but... In terms of cost, like, cost of goods versus, like, economic, like, economic, like, buying power with your, with your money, compared to nowadays, like, costs have, like, gone through the roof because of inflation. Meanwhile, people's paychecks haven't gone up as much as inflation has. So, yeah. What? I thought it was a slice. Just eat your pizza. It's what you expect. <laughs> Have you tried a corn dog? Well, there, oh, there's only one. Whoa, dude, that's not how a guy eats. Wait, are you gonna eat the crust first? <laughs> oh, you guys never did that. Eat the outside first and then attack the wiener. Oh, uh, cut that. <laughs> no. <laughs> French no. fries, twenty-five cents. Tater tots, twenty-five cents. And then also, wait, no, this this can't be right. Well, what's wrong with the menu? I ordered the Whopper, but it's a fish sandwich. Like the Burger King Whopper? No. Sonic started the Whopper. It's a fish sandwich. Sonic. <laughs> it's not even a burger. Okay, I didn't know Sonic ever served a fish on their no. sandwiches. No, that's. Are you sure about that? That'd be better Dick. than a Whopper. Whoa! But also, there's more. <laughs> Apparently, Sonic invented the Frosty. No, that's Wendy. That's Wendy's the slush. You're telling me that Sonic came up with the Whopper first and the Frosty. Yes, sir. This is not a Frosty. This no, it's a slush. Frozen it had soda. to start somewhere. They froze soda, and then someone decided to freeze milk later on. Not buttermilk, though. We don't. Ice cream has been around for much longer than than like that, dude. Ice cream's been around for a while. Talk about the buttermilk. It does the 50s beat There's the There's just something so different about a Frosty, though. Dude, Frosties are good, man. It's the texture. Like, oh, yeah. Compared to other ice cream. Just, just perfect. It's like soft serve, but not. It's like... It's, 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 it's indescribable. <laughs> I was going to say, Nick had a... Joe it's not Biden. indescribable. I'm just bad at describing Nick, Nick had a Joe Biden moment there. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, for two decades now. Three, two. Yeah, the difference one. is, I don't think I'm fit to run for president. Like, so. Neither am I. I was gonna say, I. I don't think I'm fit really to do much. Here's the thing: when you've lost the weight of a small child and you're still fat, you know you were fat as hell. Going up, baby. <laughs> we got the Taco Bell from the 60s. Wow. We got the Wendy's, which I already made the joke, so I'm not going to say it. Don't do it twice. Like, the whole menu was six items, including tostadas and frijoles. What? This is the price of Why Taco Bell from the 60s, Warhol? and it still stays true to this day. They are cheap. Speaking of choices, we had like a taco burger. Oh, Chase, it's a chili burger. You also got chili, dude. I got Wendy's. So, Preston, you know the rule about Wendy's meat? Bruh. Please tell us about Wendy's meat. So they they're known for not freezing it at all. So what happens when they have a surplus amount of meat? They make it into chili. Really? Isn't that pretty? It's pretty chill, that's right? Pretty, that's pretty, pretty chill. Nice. This just genuinely tastes like out. you took the taco and instead of putting it in between the hard shell, you put it in. 
Wait, that's really good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of dang. It has that sweetness hey, to it. Hey, yo. I have the, what is it called? The, uh, the Frosty? The, no, it's not just a Frosty. This is a chocolate Frosty dairy dessert. It tastes good. I've always said that Wendy's has really good chicken sandwiches, and they got great burgers. And they actually have surprisingly really good french fries. But they can't beat McDonald's. But they're still pretty good. Oh, dude, wait. No, that's they beat, Wendy's fries beat the fuck out of McDonald's, dude. The nat the natural cut fries that Wendy's is doing now, whoop, bro. McDonald's was the first ever fast food chain to release a commercial, and we're going to watch it. Introducing Ronald McDonald. This is when Ronald came out. Was the 60s. Dude, I am good. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no! What is he around his waist? That's a nightmare. No way. What? I'm glad Kate's not here because Kate would be running away screaming if she saw that. Is his burger down there? Hey Chase, would you please take my I'm usually afraid of clowns, but that's really far. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anything for the clips. <laughs> I should the appeal. Yeah, we're ready to leave the 60s as soon as possible. So we got the 50s versus the 60s. Three, two, one. No, dude. What? You crazy. No, no, no. I think it's the 50s. You're are... freaking crazy. 50s are better. Wait, I, that's why we... He misunderstood the assignment. You point to the one you want. Yeah, oh. Let's cut all the part out where I messed up. Oh! I didn't drop it. <laughs> oh. oh, there's chili. <laughs> We're in the 70s, and there's actually a very dark story behind the Happy Meal. What? Show us the Burger Chef commercial. Oh, no. Who's the guy with the mustache? Oh, just Peter Griffin. Puzzling pickles. What's a fun burger? Yeah. Well, it's a delicious burger with a smile well, on it. Well, it's a delicious <laughs> burger with a <laughs> smile on it. Tunes and hands. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, no. That's my, that is no. my sort of place. Yes. Would you? No. Believe me if I told you that McDonald's stole the Happy Meal. An old burger chain called Burger Chef started the kids' meal trend and tried suing McDonald's for copying. Them. But Burger Chef lost the lawsuit and would eventually be bought out by Hardee's in the late 90s. That packaging, though, is kind of sick. Yeah, I like it. I told you, this is Grimace before he tried to kill us all with his milkshakes. <laughs> All right, should we open our Happy Meals? <laughs> Yo. Do I get a car? Bro, what the? Is this a cork? This <laughs> is top. Top, spinning top. Nah, this is a bottom. I know what a top is. Because chicken nuggets weren't invented yet. Yeah, because you're mounted by one all the time. Hey, right, Preston? Ayo. It's only a burger. <laughs> I completely missed that joke. He, you, you know the analogy of like a top and a bottom, right? Yeah, but I missed the joke. Like I missed what he said. That was he said he he holds he was holding up the top. He's like he's like no no no. This is a bottom. I know what a top is. Uh, and I was like yeah because you're used to be being mounted by one every day. Hey, eh? right, Preston? I have eaten so many burgers today. Ooh, the OG packaging. Mine looks better. You got mayonnaise I got on mayonnaise there. Mayonnaise all over <laughs> that. Look at that. I will say mayonnaise is <laughs> the superior condiment mayo, to dude. mustard and to ketchup. Hate Please mayo. tell me I got mayonnaise. Ooh, we got pickles. I hate pickles. You take that back, Preston. Dude, I just have ketchup I hate on pickles my burger. Too. Do you want to trade? Yes, please. All right, let's, let's trade. Let's trade. <laughs> incredible burger, brother. Incredible. That is incredible burger. Incredible burger. Incredible burger. Incredible burger. All right, well. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just rate it. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. Seven. Yeah, it's only because of the Happy Meal. Hit it. None of my shoes. Are we in the 80s now? <laughs> <laughs> the 80s did get supersized, ladies and gentlemen. What? <laughs> we have the supersized meal. Do my you God, see God, look at the Run DMC bucket hat and the chain, man. <laughs> the hell, press. How large this is? It's diet. Diabetes. It's, 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 it's not a diet soda, but it could be. <laughs> they don't even make the super. Yeah, super size me documentary ruined that for everybody. <laughs> and then Morgan Spurlock ruined himself. Oof. Anymore. Like, this is like they're small. Look at this. Come on. Look Most at that. Thing, we finally nuggies, have chicken nuggets. Finally. It only took 50 years to get here. So uh, they're so good. I have a feeling the 70s is about to get punched in the face. Oh, what? They had a whole commercial about their nugs? Chicken McNuggets. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, go back and pause. Ooh, nuggets. Ooh, nuggets. <laughs> they probably paid them in chicken nuggets. I would take that. Dude, a life supply of nuggets would be kind of lit. Well, other than my uh, super size, size, the Big Mac. The Big Mac. What do you got Zero over here? Mac. Panda Express. So, fun fact, Preston. Listen, there was a hotel called Panda Inn, and they loved their food so much that they decided to make a restaurant and call it Panda Express. Eat some chow. Ooh, orange, orange chicken. chicken. Did not know that. I think I'm going to like mine more. Oh, I fucking love their orange chicken. Oh, yeah. It's, it's good. It is. No doubt about it. That's so a massive egg roll. Uh, uh, honey, uh, is it 
Honey pecan shrimp? Yeah, I think I know the one you're talking about. It's... I like their snow shrimp, too. Yeah, I don't think I've ever tried that. It's good, man. It's... Oh. I got some good stuff. I miss, for sure. I, I miss eating... Dang it, man! This is making me want fast food. Now I want. Now I want to go and get fast food. No. No. You gonna get closer? No. You ever played chicken? This isn't Chicken Express. It's Panda Express. <laughs> I want to say orange chicken death slap, but orange flavored chicken I have not tried. I mean, it tastes great. Preston, what is this? I don't know. I was just eating my orange Preston, flavored chicken. what is this? Is this an employee training video yeah. with puppets? Like, if you want to watch this entire video, we will link it in the description. It's a 20-minute video I don't on how the employees were supposed to make the McNuggets. Back to the food, nah, I'm though. Good on that. This is a big I'm decision good, right now. Happy Meal? Or Big Mac and Nuggets. All right, three, three, two, two one. one. 80. Oh, Are you no, kidding me? dude. You got the Big Mac. The nostalgia of the Happy Meal. Nuggets. Someone else has to settle this, Preston. Is Marie from the 80s? Should we call her? No, she's from the 90s. Okay, I we have to tell you this. Yes, but we'd still ask her. I'll call her. I have her on speed dial. This is a big one. Yeah, what wins? The 80s or the 70s? 70s, we had Happy Meals, but the 80s, we had McNuggets and a Big Mac. Oh, that's the hardest thing ever. You got, you got to decide right now. That's right. What three? Oh, that's why I married her. <laughs> she and I are not. Oh yeah, that's that's for his little little guy. Not on good terms anymore. <laughs> Let's go to the 90s. All right, baby, we got the 90s. Here we go. Oh, you yep. look like you're from Canada right now. Canada was invented in the 90s. <laughs> we got Burger King. Oh, oh. So while you're waiting for your meal in the drive-through, you just get three popcorn. Yo, that's popping. Sorry about being corny. Look at my little meal here, okay? They wanted to give like these dinners that resemble a home cooked meal. It's not fast. It is the dinner basket. Hey, we got like a meatloaf sandwich. This is huge. The baked potato and the side salad is a little sad. <laughs> Something smells weird. <laughs> oh, it might be this. Is it the meatloaf? It's got a funky meat smell. It does. All right, please, you got to do the honors again. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh? That's pretty good, man. Back and forth. Really? This sandwich. What? I'm surprised that that's good. Black. I good. would get the dinner back. You said it slaps. Why you take everything good for me? We got pizza. <laughs> They're back again. And you know what they right. invented in the 90s? The stuffed crust. What a oh, crazy yeah. invention to come out. Yeah. Of the excess amount of cheese. Wait, Donald this Trump did a stuffed crust commercial? Yeah. No. Yeah, right, there's a commercial Wait. for a pizza. Wait, he looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a pizza commercial. <laughs> the wrong way. Crust first. <laughs> he went from the crust. Oh, he did the forbidden thing. Oh, he did this. That it's not forbidden. That's how they crisps. advertised it, like, and everything. And I've still yet to ever try eating it that way because I'm like, dude, then you don't have a handle to eat the rest of the fucking pizza with. I have eaten it this way, and I gotta be honest, it's not bad. But so how do you hold the rest of the pizza afterwards? You grab onto the bottom of it. You hold it up like this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also, this little that's the that's the Italians. No, no, really. They're probably like, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, that's an offensive to Italians. Uh, but this little pizza. T I thought this was like a little pizza table thing. Like for some reason, they were giving you like little miniature furniture. It's to keep the box from like s Touching like drooping down and yeah. hitting the cheese. Mm. I didn't realize that until so much later. This is, might be the best fast food commercial. Can you explain what's inside of these red cups? Oh, wait, wait, Preston, it's chocolate mousse. They had chocolate mousses? What? <laughs> wait, that does not look like chocolate mousse. I never got to try that. It was pretty good. Pizza I won't say the S word, because I don't... Wait, what is it, Santa? Good. No. Uh, it looks like slap. Shit. Oh, that no. does slap, though. This is when we were invented, so we're they just had a good salad bar, child. too. There's just so many good... Huh? They had a good salad bar, too. Yeah, I loved Pizza good. Hut in the 90s as a kid. And oh, and they had arcade games like oh, it's fucking dope. Yeah, I remember they had Metal Slug. They had like the like Metal Slug. I never one got to play Metal Slug at ours, but Dude, uh, it was um, so good. I can't remember what game they had. At least it's so many quarters on that. Also, uh, what what did have metal, metal Slug was the skate in, which was the roller skating rink. Yeah. Um, so I got to play Metal Slug there for the first time. It's fucking dope. I uh, I also was mad because I was asking for quarters to play a video game whenever I was supposed to be skating. <laughs> I also remember uh, them giving out the P the PlayStation demo discs. Yes, dude, Pizza that was PlayStation demo discs. Those were awesome memories like Pizza Hut and like the freaking stuff crust. Was it like as good as you remember? I haven't had stuff crust yes. in so long. I just want to take a bite. Uh, Dude, it's just so good. It is. Get your 70s. Yeah, Pizza, Pizza Hut went seven. way down in quality for a while and then here recently they've gone way back up. Yes. I enjoy Pizza Hut now more than I have in a long time.
70s in here. All right, ready? Three, two, two one. one. 90s, 90s dude. <laughs> you got me that time. To the 2000s. 2000s. We finally made it past the Y2K, 2K. where everyone thought the world was going to end. Hey, at least we had dominoes in That's 2000s. True, at least. They had like a massive comeback. An oven baked sandwich. I don't know what it is. That's why they call it a pocket sandwich. You got to try it. It is really salty. <laughs> Salt invented in the 2000s? Wendy's, don't say the joke. Show the the dominoes is really good in like the 2010s, in my opinion. What? Dominoes. Oh, yeah. So, well, like, especially like. To be honest, like, you know, the last half of the 2010s, like, Domino's was really, really good. And then here recently, like, they fell off a little, it seems like. Fair enough. I never get anything quite as good quality from there as I used to get, like, five or so years ago. Yeah. Look at that. Bro, that actually looks so good. For a dollar, I Wendy's would get a baked potato. Dope, oh, all right, eat it. One bite. Yeah, what is with you in the one bite? Still, huh? doing still the one bite challenge. This mouth out. cannot fit. The, oh, maybe it can. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You didn't take one bite. I was trying to fit it in my mouth. Eat the potato and see if it's worth a dollar. Oh, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's good. You're supposed I to eat the skin on this? The vanilla you can. Hmm. The skin on the potato is not dangerous. It's not hazardous. It's like, it's like the skin of the apple. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. He finally got to vanilla, the worst flavor. Oh my. No. You take that back, Preston. Strawberry is the worst flavor, and especially out of the Neapolitan trio. Like, uh, have you ever noticed that? Anytime you get like that Neapolitan trio, like they got it for birthday parties, like all the scoops out of chocolate and all the scoops out of vanilla are missing, and there's just like a, a, a mound of strawberry ice cream right in the middle so my fucking problem with strawberry ice cream is so if you get a purely strawberry flavored ice cream yeah i have no problem with that i agree if there are any and all chunks of actual strawberries or seeds in it fuck off that's no. not the texture i'm looking for when i'm eating ice cream and yeah. i don't fucking like that in my ice cream like and i think that that could potentially from what i hear be possibly a bit of an on the spectrum thing supposedly it's apparently like there's a texture thing with the, i definitely have a texture thing with a lot of things like sensory wise like i can't touch my jeans like or cardboard if my hands are too dry it's like oh like it's the worst thing ever Damn. there's a lot of food texture stuff that i can't do as well and like there's a lot of textures of foods that i'm like okay with but if they're in a certain context i'm not like so i don't know that's how it i've is. never been officially diagnosed but that's what it seems like could be i don't know i hear you no vanilla is not a good flavor i'm so tired of you saying Preston. something that's bland is vanilla vanilla is a rich and very delectable flavor Sorry. okay here's what i'll say do you know where vanilla pods come from from a vanilla bean plant yeah here's the thing Vanilla beans are from Madagascar, which is Africa. Do you know where cocoa beans come from? South America. Exactly! So, the thing is, you saying that it's bland makes no sense. It's just like, look, if it tastes bland to you, okay, that's how your taste buds are. But there's been people who just been like, oh, well, chocolate's superior because chocolate's from, like, like vanilla had to have been made by white people. No, vanilla's been extracted by like Africans for like thousands of years. Like, come on, dude, don't be stupid. Vanilla is just, I think vanilla and chocolate are both good. I like both. As a matter of fact, when I used to go to like the Frozen Slab Creamery, you remember the one that used to be open up there at uh, Exit 7? I used to get like, the ch uh, like a scoop of chocolate, scoop of vanilla, and I would have them mix that up for me. You know why? Because I like both flavors. I don't discriminate, unless it's against strawberry. <laughs> really passionate about that, huh? I am. But are you passionate about this? Dessert pizza. Oh, they have a whole commercial on it. Look Holy it's crap. It's not stuff, Meredith. It's an Oreo dessert pizza mustache. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I remember this. No, you don't. I do. This is new Oreo dessert pizza. What year was this? <laughs> 2007. I remember this. <laughs> Dude, it got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, the beer. best commercial. If when I watch that, that makes me want to go straight to a Domino's. I've never had an Oreo. I'm sorry that uh, I wish you could still get that. Like they don't have that at our Domino's. No, you know, I 
that that commercial, I remember that commercial, but they said, oh, it's one of the greatest commercials ever. The Sponge Monkeys still take it from me from Quiznos. They got their subs, because they are good to us. We got a pepper bar. Um, but yeah, I, I've only ever had dessert pizza from a place called CeCe's Pizza. Uh-huh. I don't know if you ever had CeCe's Pizza. I've had CeCe's once, but yeah. I, yeah, it was like a thin crust kind of, but the crust was soft. And it was like cinnamon sugar with like icing. It was really fucking good. Mr. Gaddy's had that. Mr. Gaddy's had something very similar to that. I had dessert pizza at Mr. Gaddy's a few times. Yo, pizza. Can I buy this? That is fantastic. Let's go. Did you eat all your food yet? What? Oh, wait, there was an ad for the Baconator? <laughs> yeah. Are they excited? Are That's they one of my favorite. Both? They're terrified from how excited they are. Bacon! It's Keely's. It's Keely. <laughs> so bacon. <laughs> Choosing a commercial? Bacon! Yes! Wow, I feel it. Or the pizza was It's better. two different things, bro. Target yeah, Baconator. Yeah, I'll try to buy the so Baconator. Good. I would choose this. What? I, I, I was like, no. It's you not, don't get to slap my it's food. It's a bland pizza sandwich. I, I freaking love the 2000s food. There is no nutrition involved in anything that we just ate, but no. it was so good. Now, would you please, Kylie, right. hold right. the 90s. Ah, this is such a big one. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. 2000s. You always make a mess. I'll clean it up. Oh, our pizza box He's flew. Down. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> oh. Here we go, 2010, we are in you, and we got a lot of collaborations going on. We had Taco Bell collaborating with Doritos. That's really good. Doritos Locos Tacos. What is this? Oh, this is not a quesadilla. Still, Still not a fan of any hard shell taco. Huh? Still not a fan of any hard shell taco. It's a thing? It's sweet. Oh, I'm crunchy. I think there's Kit Kats inside it's of a, here. That I'm comes back to the texture thing for me, because I compare hard shell tacos much like... Captain Crunch to just fucking eating glass. It's like, Damn. If I wanted my gums to be all cut up, I would just eat a glass bottle. Like. <laughs> we finally got enchiladas? Enchirito. Wait, it's an enchilada burrito? Oh, you're touching it. Oh, that's not good. It looks like a sea slug. Okay. One piece, one bite. I think it's actually really good. It's just greasy, dude. Okay, okay finally, finally. Nacho fries. Can I have a bite? Oh, that's good. Can I have a bite? Oh, that's yum. Can I have a bite? Dude, it's got like a spice to it. Am I seriously, can I have a bite? Nope. That's kind of yeah, nacho fries, fries aren't, aren't bad. But... I have a very interesting toast. Jesus Christ, Josh Duhamel doing a friggin' Taco Bell commercial? Skills. <gasps> oh, it's a two-minute commercial. I right, do. This plot is too deep. I right, show us what KFC was cooking up. I forgot about this. <gasps> that thing's huge, dude. What? So instead of bread for your body, I'm still angry at the fact that that KFC got rid of the popcorn chicken. I'm still mad about that. That was one of my all-time go-to things to get from from KFC. And when they started facing it off the menu, I was like, no. One of my only reasons for coming to KFC. Buns, they were like, what if we put a little chicken? Those are two chicken patties? Yes. I actually, so I want to think about it this. Oh my gosh. There's if so I were good. to crown like one fast food item that has been the best from every decade, it would be this. Really? It's so good. You see what I'm looking at? Is that me when I'm dehydrated? I just really hope they didn't just call this orange flavored. Maybe we finally progressed and gave orange flavor a real name, which is... Orange oh, Sweet soda. Lightning. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Hey, what? Okay, okay, relax, relax, buddy, relax. Orange hey, Mountain Dew is called Livewire. Okay, is it really that good? Good? Yeah. What the hell is Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning? I've never heard of that. Let's take a look. Hold on. Mountain Dew. Dew Sweet Lightning. Oh, sweet peach and smooth honey flavor. That's not orange. That is not good. Why did you gulp that so hard? Because I was thirsty. So what do we think, though? Push this away. It ain't about Taco Bell. It's about the star. Three, two, two one. Two thousand. Uh, yeah, two, 2010. 2010. <laughs> it didn't happen. Let's go. Wait, is this the future? We are now in the final decade, the Ooh. 2020s. From fast food being served at your car to random food collaborations, this meal is being delivered to us by Robots. Could this potentially be the future of fast food as we know it? <laughs> this is us. 
We got a happy feel. Dude, that looks like a death trap right there. Does the door just shut automatically too? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, we should step out of the drive through yes. to block anybody else, but we're gonna try this food and chase this car. That was really cool. All right, now we get they to try weren't this lying about robots that replacing so people's jobs. See what I mean? Damn. 2020. Okay, now the question is, what toy? Should I know who this is? Is this like a famous rapper? That's William Potato Spear. Who is this man? <laughs> That's Shakespeare. All right, well, the box is substantially Ooh. better in 2020. And are you thirsty, sir? Oh, an Oreo McFlurry? <laughs> Yo! Wow. Now, McFlurry's been around longer than like the 2020s, but McFlurry's are pretty bitchin'. Yeah. Thing is, is if you can ever actually get them to give you one, because, because they always have a fucking ice cream broken. machine is broken. Yeah, every single time. Thank you, dude. You are too. Do you know this guy? Let's go. Anything you want to say, you're in the video. Let's go. <laughs> this strawberry McFlurry, man, it's delicious. Can I tried this one. Yeah, this is good. Oh, yeah, it's it's the whole. oh god! Wow, that's good. This has been the most fresh food we've eaten. I told you, Chase. What? It's Kerwin Frost on the box. Yeah, apparently, he's a DJ. I said rapper. I was close. I gotta open this bad boy. Mm, yes. Wait, what toy do you think is inside? I have no idea. Dibs on toy. Oh, but we got the McNugget meals. You can collect the different nuggets. Come on, Ninja. Guess what it is? Kerwin Frost. Well, Preston, the future is good. Yes, you got it. Let's go! Damn. We couldn't fit the cannon inside the car. I think it was Burger King that did it, but the coolest Happy Meal, Kids Meal toys ever was definitely when they had like all 150 original Pokemon and Pokeballs. I remember those. I also remember, I can't remember which fast food chain it was, but they did a Mr. Gadget collaboration. And you collect like all the pieces of Mr. Gadget and build like a giant Mr. Gadget. Yeah, I remember that. Because I was disappointed that I only ever got like one... I got all of them except for the hat. I will never forget, I went around everywhere looking for the hat and they never had it anywhere. I was so pissed. The pedestal. So what are we thinking, man? Are we really gonna rate a decade better because of the toys? Three, Three two, two, one, 20, 20. What do we do? What happens? What happens? <laughs> Nothing. The video ends apparently. Exactly. Okay. So in 2020, I think probably my favorite fast food item is most likely actually Taco Bell's grilled cheese burrito. Really? Yeah. Grilled cheese burritos are fucking good. You asked me to get, he asked me to get him one every time I'm coming back from dropping off JT. Not every time. Well, a lot of times. A lot of times, yeah. Yeah, he's just like, can you stop and grab me a grilled cheese burrito? Make that two grilled cheese burritos. But yeah, I am, uh, yeah, that was interesting, seeing a uh, hundred years of uh, fast food. So, damn, I, I enjoyed this. This was actually kind of cool. So, uh, what did y'all think? Did y'all enjoy the video? I mean, if you did, feel free to let us know. But uh, I guess for now, we're going to call it here. So, take care, everybody. And until next time, I am Nate. I am Nick. Be good people. See you in the next one. Peace.